Good evening. Another Brisbane tunnel has gone broke with the operator of Airport Link going into voluntary administration. Reporter Max Futcher has been following the latest developments and Max, once again they built a time-saving tunnel but Brisbane drivers didn't want to pay. Well, not, an, not enough of them anyway, Georgie, so there was a cash flow problem, mounting debts, and yesterday the board was unable to reach agreement with its lenders, so they have called in the administrators. When we spoke to the CEO of Briz Connections last year, ahead of the opening of the tunnel, he assured us they had learned the lessons from the Clem 7 venture, well, clearly not well enough, especially when it comes to those traffic flow projections, which were well down on what you'd have to say were pretty optimistic forecasts. The numbers of vehicles were well down even when the tunnel was free to use. Most drivers agree Airport Link is a great road. Problem is, not enough of them use it. Briz Connections' decision to call in administrators is disappointing, but not surprising. Unfortunately, there's nothing wrong with the infrastructure. There's obviously something wrong with the financing model underpinning it. A financial model reliant on apparently unrealistic traffic flows. Despite the early optimism... I can guarantee you that in two or three years' time, people will wonder how they ever got around Brisbane without airport links. Just seven months after it opened, the tunnel is used by 45,000 cars a day, a mere third of the 130,000 projected. The, the projections were so beyond what most other people in the transport profession were, were suggesting this, this uh, facility was going to get. The $4.8 billion project is now carrying more debt than it's worth. This is one, uh, one decision, uh, unlike all the other dud decisions of Anna Bly and Andrew Fraser, that the taxpayers won't end up paying for, thankfully. Administration will spell heartache for Airport Link investors, but drivers won't notice the difference, at least in the short term. What it will make a difference to is the future and how we provide these, this sort of infrastructure going forward. And uh, with two failures in Brisbane, that could be a real problem for us. Brisbane's hoping for third time lucky with Legacy Way. Clem 7 is yet to find a buyer after it collapsed financially in 2011. So the question is, who'd ever build another tunnel in Brisbane? I think we're going to see governments build um, roads themselves. And if they want to sell them, then sell them once they know what the patronage is. Yeah, so it is a dark day for investors in Airport Link. Uh, it also could affect investor confidence in future such public infrastructure projects. But as we've heard for drivers, it's pretty much business as usual. The tolls remain the same. Their accounts will operate exactly the same, although there is a toll increase that was already planned for April. Georgie. Thanks for the update. Max Futcher at Kedron.